Hi everyone, it's Danny, and today's video is going to be my hair care routine and I did film one of these back in May but I never got around to uploading it and people have been asking for one so I thought I would film one today because I'm quite happy with the products I'm using and how long my hair's got so I thought now would be a perfect time to film one. So I thought I'd film this video without my extensions so you can see how long my hair is and sort of the condition of my hair and to see my actual hair rather than just my extensions because obviously I use all these products on my actual hair I don't really use many of them on my extensions because my extensions don't really need that much doing to them so I'll insert a little clip of my hair when I filmed the previous hair care routine video which I didn't upload because my hair is quite a lot shorter there and it was only about five months ago so you can see that my hair has grown quite a lot since then and I did film sort of a front view and a back view I think so I will just insert it now so you can see what my hair looked like around five months ago. It's like touching my shoulders and it's a bit past my shoulders but it's really short at the front from where I had an undercut and I also have quite short layers they're sort of they're sort of here now like middle of my ear and my fringe used to be a full fringe but now it's really long so this is the back if you can see that I hope you can see it okay as you can see it's quite layered and quite messy okay so that's my hair then and then this is my hair now it's grown quite a lot since then I'm really surprised like I looked back at it and I was like wow my hair has really grown since then because I used to have quite short layers and they're sort of down to the bottom of my ear to sort of my chin now so they're very near to the actual length of my hair and I think in another six months that will be grown out and then my fringe is pretty long, it's sort of down to my mouth now which is amazing, I'm just continuing to grow it out and I'm just sort of growing all of my hair out to be honest, I don't really want it in a particular style, I just want it sort of all one length at the length it is now with no fringe and just a middle parting so I can wear it like that and just have it wavy and it'll be really nice so I'm hoping that won't take too much longer but yeah I'll show you the back of my hair so you can see that as well. So this is the back of my hair, I hope you can see it okay it's just it's not all one length but it's growing really well and it's quite even now so I'm really happy with that oh and I'm really sorry about the lighting by the way I had to turn my light on which is quite orangey because it's getting really dark outside and I really underestimated how early it gets dark so on to the products I actually use and I'll start with when I wash my hair so if my hair is feeling really greasy and I haven't washed it for quite a while then I'll start off by using the Bumble and Bumble Tonic Shampoo and this is similar to their Sunday Shampoo but less strong I would say, it doesn't strip your hair quite as much and I do find that I would need to use more of this than I would if I used the Sunday Shampoo but I do prefer this one because it doesn't dry my hair out as much and that's the main concern for me because my hair used to be quite damaged and I don't really want to make it any more damaged. So I use this and it works quite well at getting rid of a lot of the dirt that may have built up in my hair or product and I would definitely recommend it if you want a weaker alternative to the Sunday shampoo. Then following up from that I use one of two duos and the first duo which I like to use and these are probably my favourite out of the two is the Bumble and Bumble Creme de Coco line and this is just a shampoo and conditioner but I absolutely love it. This is sort of good for I would say dry hair but not overly damaged. I would say when my hair was quite damaged this wouldn't be enough but now this just gives me enough moisturisation to leave my hair feeling really soft and silky and really easy to brush through and everything like that. And they have the most lovely sort of coconutty vanilla -y scent which is really really nice and uplifting and I really do love these. And then the next duo I use occasionally is from Redken and it's their Extreme line and this is the shampoo and conditioner. These are nearly empty. I use these a lot more when my hair was more damaged and now obviously it's much better so I don't use them as much but I do still like to use them sort of once a month or something like that. Bearing in mind I only wash my hair once or twice a week. Sometimes I do use them a bit more but I don't use them more than sort of every two weeks. These contain proteins which your hair needs to be strong and healthy so that's what's really good about them. They just really help to strengthen in my hair and they don't make it feel instantly soft and smooth but they do help it to feel a lot healthier and stronger over time so I really do recommend these if your hair is quite damaged or dry from sort of heat or dyeing your hair or bleaching your hair and then every sort of two weeks I use a deep conditioner sometimes more if I've been using a lot of heat and product on my hair and the one that I really really like and I use the most is the Fekai Protein RX Anti Breakage Treatment Mask and I got this from Space and K and it was £24 but I have been using it for about six or seven months and it's not even empty yet. I would say I'm coming to the end, I probably have about a month or two left of it but it is really worth the money and it is the best mask that I've tried. 
When I use this my hair just feels a lot stronger and healthier and it does feel a lot softer and smoother as well and this contains proteins like the shampoo and conditioner from Redken but this is just a lot stronger and my hair feels so so nice after I use this and it just really keeps it in check and I think this is what has helped my hair the most in getting a lot stronger and healthier because it was really really damaged but when I started using this I really did see a huge improvement and that's when it really started to grow the most. So I would definitely recommend this if you have dry or damaged hair and you just really want to give it a kickstart in growing again and being really healthy. So once I've washed my hair I tend to towel dry it and then I apply a mixture of products. So I use four products for my different hair needs and I tend to stick to sort of my lengths and ends. I don't apply too much to my roots but I do apply a little bit of what's left on my hands after I've put it in my lengths and ends. So first off I do a little squirt of the Living Proof Prime Style Extender and this is just a sample, this isn't the full size but I will be picking up the full size shortly when this runs out and this is just really good for sort of prolonging your style basically so once I've straightened my hair when I use this it just means that my hair stays a lot straighter for longer and it also stops it from getting greasy so quickly so I do notice that I don't have to do as much to my hair when I use this so I really do recommend it. So the next product I add into the mix is the Bumble and Bumble BB Straight Blow Dry Lotion and I don't find this works all that well at keeping my hair straight but it does work really well at helping me to straighten my hair and make it easier to straighten my hair. So I do really like it for that reason and I do think it's a good product to have if you find it quite difficult to straighten your hair so if it's quite unruly or if it's quite frizzy or anything like that. And then the next two products focus on hydration and the first one is an oil and I tend to sort of only add a little bit of this because obviously it is quite rich and it is the Ojon Rare Blend Oil and this is just a really nice oil to keep your hair soft and smooth and silky and also to help repair it. And then the next product I add a bit in of is the Phyto7 Hydrating Day Cream for your hair and I really do like this. It's a little bit lighter than an oil but it does still really hydrate my hair and keep it really soft so I do like it and it stops it from getting frizzy so quickly I find because it just smooths down all the hair ends so I do really like it. So I tend to just put them all in my palm and then I massage them together in my hands and just run them through my hair and then I tend to take a little bit more of the oil and put it right on the ends just to really condition them. And then once I've done that, I tend to just brush through my hair with my Tangle Teaser and I like this to use on wet hair because it doesn't sort of pull my hair as much as a brush would and it just combs through it pretty easily and gets rid of all the knots. And then after that, I just tend to tie my hair up and go to sleep because I don't really like to blow dry my hair all that often but if I do, then I'll just continue on to the next steps without sleeping on my hair. <laughs> And then in the morning, once I've slept on it, my hair can be quite difficult to brush through, so I spray in some of this, which is the Dove Hair Therapy Nourishing Oil Care Leave-In Conditioning and Care Spray. So this is basically like a leave-in conditioning spray, which just helps to detangle your hair, and I find this just really adds a little bit extra moisture, but isn't too heavy, and just helps to detangle my hair so it's easier to brush through. So I tend to apply that in the mornings on sort of first and second day hair. And then I'll just give it a good brush through with a brush. I just use this one, which I think is from Boots. It's not any specific brand, but any will do, to be honest. And then because I do straighten my hair, I use a heat protector. And the one I use is the Tresemme Heat Defense Spray. And I really, really like this because it doesn't add any extra weight to my hair. It just gives it a bit of heat protection. Although the spray is a bit dodgy. Like, it doesn't spray very well after a while. And it goes a little bit clumpy rather than a fine mist. But I don't really mind because it works really well. So then after I sprayed that all in my hair, I straighten it and I straighten it in sections. So I'll sort of section off my hair, clip this bit up and then straighten this bit and in each section I spray some of this which is the Living Proof Straight and this is a styling hairspray so you just sort of spray it in wet or dry hair and it helps to make your hair a lot smoother and straighter and it helps to keep the style in it and protect your hair from humidity and things like that. So it really is great. I've only been using this for about a month but I have been so 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 impressed with it. It just keeps my hair so much straighter for longer and if it's really humid outside or damp then it does stop it from getting so frizzy. So I do really recommend this if you have sort of frizzy hair or hair that doesn't like to stay straight. And then for styling I use the Obey Dry Texturizing Spray and this is just a mini size but I am going to have to purchase the full size soon because I absolutely love it. I spray this in my roots and in my fringe and it just gives me a lot of volume and texture because my hair can be quite limp and lifeless on the first day after I wash it and then on the following days I just sort of spray it in my fringe area to add a bit of texture and I really really do like this and recommend it because I do find that my hair can be quite hard to work with after I've just washed it and it can just look a bit boring and dull so I do like this just to give it a bit of life. 
So they're all the products I use and then I thought I'd talk a little bit about my extensions. So I use these extensions and they're from Foxy Locks, they're 20 inches and this is a deluxe set I believe. It's a set that's around £74 but these are the extensions I've used for the past sort of two or three years and I definitely recommend them. They're quite thick and they're just really, really good quality. I never have problems with these sort of going really dry after a few weeks or anything like that. I would say these last me a good six months before they start to go really straggly and they need replacing. I have the colour off black and they are a really good match for my hair. My hair has faded a tiny bit so it might be a little bit warmer than these but I do really, really recommend these extensions. She has a video on YouTube for selecting your colour which is really good because it compares all the extensions so you can sort of see which would be best for you and it has really good lighting so you can see the colours properly and that's how I chose this shade because I was going to get the darkest brown before but then I realised that this is probably the best colour for me. So I am going to be writing a full review on these extensions because I do think I need to go into a bit more detail but I can't really think of anything now off the top of my head so just look out for that and anyway I do really recommend these. So that is my hair care routine, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if the lighting's really bad but I hope that you got the gist of what I use and how it helps my hair and everything like that. And if you're wondering about my giveaway, it is now closed and I am in the process of selecting the winners because there are going to be two winners, one for each prize. It does take a little bit longer but the winner will be selected very shortly and they will both be notified and I'll let you all know when the winner is selected so that you all know. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Do leave a comment in the comment section regarding what products you use and what products you love to use on your hair and if you have any questions leave them there as well. I will link all the products that I've used in the down bar along with all my links to my other social media and everything like that. Do like this video if you liked it and you found it helpful and subscribe to see more of my videos and I'll see you next time. Bye!